Hi, it's Dwyer. Today is Wednesday, June the 9th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. DwyerBoxingNews.com, a free site. Let's talk heavyweight division. Let's talk unbeaten prospect Frank Sanchez versus unbeaten prospect Effie Ajaba. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now this fight apparently has landed on the undercard according to reports of the Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder fight. This fight is a must watch. The fight was recently announced. The odds have not yet posted online. But the bet I like, looking at styles, and I have fights from Sanchez as well as Ajaba in my favorites folder here on YouTube. The bet I like is Frank Sanchez to win the fight. Hedged with Effie Ajaba, we'll just call him Effie, to win by stoppage. I base that on the following. We're all looking for edges. Here's the edge I think the fight styles give us. Ajaba has a spectacular straight right hand. It's among the best in the heavyweight division. It's truly remarkable, right? He has a Deontay Wilder level straight right hand. The problem is he can't lead with it. He needs to touch you first with his left hand. Before the clouds part, the sun comes out and he feels comfortable with his balance to throw that right hand. The right hand has to be part of a one-two for him. He can't lead with the power shot. So against an experienced fighter, that riders, that fighter is gonna key on Effie's left hand. When Effie throws it, a skillful fighter is gonna know to roll to his right. Right? He's gonna know to roll away from Ajaba's right hand. Also, understand what it means when a fighter is a guy who needs for the sun to be out before he throws his best punch. You can disrupt him, right? The fighters are moving around the ring. You understand, Ajaba needs to have his feet set to throw that straight right hand. You understand, it's a straight right hand. It's not a right hook. He can convert it to an uppercut, but he doesn't feel comfortable leaning in and throwing that right hook to your body. He's predominantly a headhunter with the right hand, and he needs to touch you with the left before throwing that right hand. So if Sanchez can set the tempo, bounce a little bit, throw off Ajaba's timing. He might be able to prevent Ajaba from throwing that right hand. Right again, Ajaba needs to touch you with his left before he throws the right hand. If you could dodge the left, If Abjaba is not able to get that timing, he might not be able to throw that right hand. If you can bounce a little bit and throw off his balance, have him think that you're gonna come over his left hand, right? He has a decent jab. If he thinks you're gonna come over that left hand, right? And he got dropped in a fight by a guy named Kalaze, who came over that left hand, Ajaba might not throw the right hand. Right? His timing is such he's a bit wooden. 
while the straight right hand is very effective, he needs to set the table. Right? He's front foot heavy. It's an open question on whether he can operate on his back foot backing up. I know we're sounding hard here, but look, this is not the PR side of the internet here. Right? We're looking for an edge on the casino. I'm not going to get political about this. Right? It's an open question on whether Ajaba feels comfortable on his back foot. I've looked at several of his fights, and even though he's 6'6", even though he stands upright, he uses height and length better than Frank Sanchez, who leans forward. Right? Sanchez is 6'4". Ajaba is 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, right? Ajaba stands upright. He can lean back a little bit. When he shoots a jab, if you're going to get to him, if you're going to get to his body, you have a lot to get through because he has a long reach. But understand, if you crash the pocket, if you come inside and hug him, hold him, force him onto his back foot, you might not be facing the same fighter, right? Understand, he likes to drop that left foot, touch you with the left hand before coming with the straight right hand. He can lead with the power shot, but it's not the right hand. He does have a left hook, but he's not a guy who comes out and flashes the left hook. You don't see the left hook until he's hurt you. Now, Frank Sanchez moves a lot better, is a lot more fluid, has the better legs. Right? Seems to be operating on a different rhythm. Right? Is more active, has more bounce, but he doesn't go to the body enough. He's very right hand dominant. And he likes to throw that right hand up top. Now, he's fighting a guy who's going to be really upright. Against a different opponent, that fighter might have a hand up to block Sanchez's right hand up top and might be able to bend and move, roll away from Sanchez's right hand to neutralize Sanchez's strength. Sanchez is the better athlete than Ajaba. He has the better hand speed, right? Ajaba is just trying to throw placeholder punches to set you up for the straight right hand. Sanchez looks like he has a great jab, but just like he doesn't go to the body enough, he doesn't throw the jab enough. Right? Let me also say too, that Sanchez is a guy who doesn't get to the fourth punch of a combination. In other words, both of these guys are going to be coming at you predominantly with one-twos. One-twos. Right? These aren't the kind of guys who are just going to crash the pocket and then empty the canister. Right? That's not who they are. So I suspect that if this fight goes the distance, and let me point out, two fights ago, Ajaba went the distance with a fighter and won by a wide decision. But I believe Frank Sanchez is better than that fighter was. If this fight goes the distance, I'm expecting Sanchez, who looks like he's the better mover, who looks like he could lead with power shots better, who looks like he could fight a little bit lower than Ajaba, who probably has looked at the films and realizes that Ajaba's left jab is a little bit lazy and that he's open for counters over that left jab, especially since to avoid Ajaba's right hand 
when he throws the left, a clever fighter is going to move to his right to set up the counter. I think Sanchez is going to have a Jabba on the defensive and is going to be trying to throw right hands, Sanchez's best punch, over a Jabba's lazy left jab that a job is really throwing out there more for timing purposes than to hurt you, right? He throws the left so he could get in a rhythm to throw what he really wants to throw, the big right hand, right? When a fighter throws a punch and is a little bit lazy and leaving it out there or pulling it back a little bit slow, he's open for counters. Just understand a Jabba already has been dropped off a right counter over a lazy left. I have that fight, the Kalaze fight, in my favorites folder. So to sum up, I think Frank Sanchez is more fluid. I think if the fight goes the distance, I like Sanchez, right? I'm going to hedge to play with a job of by KO because his straight right hand is that good. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Let's hope neither fighter pulls out of this fight, right? Both guys are in their 20s. Now's the time to make your mark. Now's the time to tell fans of the heavyweight division, look, Fury over 30, Joshua over 30, Wilder over 30, Usyk over 30, right? Michael Hunter over 30. Derek Chisora, over 30. Luis Ortiz, over 30. <clears throat> this is breaking me up, obviously. Right? Here we are, in our 20s, and we're ready. These guys have that opportunity. Don't sleep on this fight. It's going to be one of the best fights on the Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder boxing card. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for stopping by.